Good morning and sliding in the afternoon to be out here in San Antonio, Texas. Yes, I am back home. Woo -hoo. So there you go. And it's still hot here. It's cloudy outside. Looks like it might want to rain. But it's hot. So you're here with Adventurous Stampin. And we're going to do our Keep It Simple or Step It Up. I am using scraps today. And I'm going to show you where those scraps came from. And I'm going to show you how to just save those scraps and create them. Especially when I have beautifully full paper, I just have to use every piece, it seems like. But that's okay. That's what it's all about. It's all about creating, sharing, and giving. Alright? So with that, let's go down the hands and let's get started. Alright, so we are using Texture Chick paper today. I'm using my scraps. I have also used embossing folder here. A gingham one, I'm using the chick dies again, and I've also used the layering circle. So everything's pre-cut already, but just to give you an idea so you know what I'm using, what I'm doing, and so forth and so on. And this is a beautiful full of paper, and definitely I'm using this. I just, I just can't, I have to use leftovers, I just do. So we're going to start off simple, right? I'm going to put this aside and we'll go to this in a minute. And we're just going to start off simple with this. This is a leftover die cut piece that I had. I cut out the circle for something. And all I'm going to do right here is I'm going to stamp right in the center of that. And I'm going to use a post-it note to hold this down for me. Because I'm not going to glue this right down. We're going to actually put this up on dimensionals. But I want the words that I want to say to be right there in the center. I'm centering my card. I'm just going to use a post-it note. Okay. Now, if you feel more comfortable having one on each side, go for it. Today is one of those days I think I'm going to go for it. Alright, so I'm just using this round stamp. And it says, Every day with you is... Oh, no, you know what? I'm not going to use that one. I'm saving that one for the next one. I could, but I don't want to. I'm going to use this thank you one. Because I am using that other stamp. I'll read it again in a minute. I could use it on everything, but I'm not. I'm just going to use this big thank you and... Tapping that three times. So I'm trying to see if I make sure I got most of my shadows gone. And I'm just going to stamp this in the center. And it's going to go over just a little bit. Let's see. See how it's good? Just a teeny tiny bit. No big deal, right? I'm going to put this on dimensionals. And it's going to look nice and awesome. Now, the only thing is, is Zoe is here with Nana, even though she was up all night with Nana creating. She definitely didn't jump in here, but she definitely talked about wanting a bumblebee in here. So I do have some bumblebees, but first, I'm going to put some ribbon on here. This is just quick and simple, right? Because this is just leftover piece that I haven't cut in a circle out, and I didn't want to get rid of it. I wanted to do something with it. And I'm just going to take a short amount of ribbon, and I'm going to tack it down on the back with some glue dots. Oh yes, if you're out there, please say hello and I will try to say hello back. Hello, Jennifer. Let's see what we got going on there. Alright, keep me on my A-game. I need somebody to keep me on my A-game. And she does a very good job most days. Some days I give her the slip, but hey, most days she's on spot on. Spot on. So I'm just doing this just to add a little color, right? This is very pretty. It's got, it's got pink undertones to it. You've got the gold. And it looks very good on the very vanilla cardstock. As well, so does the chocolate brown. That's a pretty side also. I could have done that side. But Zoe and Nana were into doing the gold last night. They're in gold foil mode. So yes, we were up to midnight last night. So there's a couple of ideas and suggestions she wanted me to incorporate today. So we'll do it and see what you think. You have to give us what you think about it. Alright, so then all I'm going to do is take this and put this up on dimensionals, right? And I've got a nice, cute little card. All started by Francine and Linda. Some friends and family members. We like three by three cards, so that's how all this three by three got started. But they're just cute, easy to give away, right? So we're sticking with that game plan. Hey, Lourdes, it's good to see you. I miss you. Actually, I 
just sort of missed everybody. I hadn't seen Lourdes in a while. We guess. So this weekend is Father's Day, so I hope you've got some Father's Day cards ready. Oop, let me take this out of the way. Okay. So see, all I did is line that up there. My tea's just going to come across like that, and it's just going to be like this. And then she wanted a bumblebee, and we're going to add a bumblebee. All right, we're just going to use some glue on this one here. Now my thoughts are we'll just put the bumblebee right down there. That'd be just a nice touch. We could just as easily put that bumblebee right up here on the brown. So if any of you guys watching have a preference, let me know where I put this glue on. Does anybody have a preference? Or it goes in the brown strip, or if it goes into the thank you, or we didn't have to sit there and do that. Could most probably, why don't you just put two of them in there? Seems like Zoe should be here since she's the one that kept me up all night. I'm gonna blame her up all night with Zoe. All right, anybody have a preference? We can do either or. We can do both. Let's see here. All right. I see you, Jennifer. She likes it on the brown. Okay, let's put it on the brown. I'm sure Zoe is out there and she wants to give us her two cents. She will. Eventually. Alright, let's see if I can get the tip off this here. Let's see. That would be her in the background yawning. So if you've seen Zoe and Nana's Stamping uh, last Sunday of the month. Nana tries to get Zoe caffeine so she's not yawning. But you know, those preteens, I just don't know what to say about them. Alright, she's laughing in the background. I'm going to put one under the U too. Just because I can, right? I think these guys right now are on the last, last chance list. So, if you wanted bumblebees, it's on the last chance list. I like them. They can go on so many things. Alright, let's see if I can get it up just a little bit. I might have to use my scissors. Get it just a little bit higher there. Slid down on me. Alright, so there we go. There is card number one. Alright, let's move on to our stepped up number card. I have to let that dry some slide over there gingerly like. Alright, this one here. You know, so many things happen when we get ready to set up and get ready to go live and all that kind of stuff. And this is one of them. I was like laying this down something and looking how nice this looks on this right here. I'm not creating this right now. This is actually a uh, card that comes with envelopes that they have that goes with the texture chip set and all that if you want to get it separate and everything and all. But look how nice this looks on this right here. So I am going to go back and most I create a card using this just like that but not right now I just to show you how those things happen because I'm using scraps and it's easy to have some leftover scraps when you make larger projects so these are some pieces that I had left over and all I did is I've taken some petal pink cardstock here so they get all the sticky glue stuff off and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two pieces that are just leftover pieces and I'm just going to just sort of put them out here like this all right and I'm going to put them down with some adhesive. And I'll put my circles up. But this is vellum. So if you're wondering what this is, this is vellum. And let's see if I can get that going for me. So vellum is sort of nice. Um, this one in particular has got like print on it. It's not distinguishable print. But it's enough just to give it a different look. A nice look. And you can see that nice color of the cardstock behind it which is what I really like and was looking for and then I'm going to turn around with my gold foil right over here and I'm just going to put it to the side right it's beautiful on this side too but I am using my gold foil paper because it's so pretty I like gold foil paper I will use this stuff other stuff the scraps I used this last week um, when I was simply doing it and I did some just some stamping when we were doing charity, uh, doing things for a cause, I had limitations of what I had to do. All right, so this is just leftover. I had I, when I sit there and die cut stuff, I just make some extra stuff, or I was trying some stuff out. I toss it aside, and we're just gonna sit there and put this right across here. I'm just gonna put some adhesive right here in the middle, 
and I'm not really worried about I think it's really good. I'm not really worried about it going through too much at the moment because all I'm gonna do is flip it over and put it back in the same spot. And I'm gonna put my circles over it, okay? So I'm not really worried about them. So these are two that I previously had done and these are leftovers. So if I'm gonna die cut, I usually die cut extra stuff so that I have what I need if I want it in the future or whatever the case may be. And I'm just gonna put these down on dimensionals. I'm gonna stamp this first. And I'm going to stamp this one with, Every Day With You is Another Adventure. Right? Life is an adventure. And the thing is, we got birthdays. We've got a lot of birthdays coming up. We've got a lot of anniversaries coming up. To me, this would be a nice anniversary card. And if I didn't do that perfectly right, I'll find it. I was going to say, I would just flip that right over. Okay stamp it again. Alright, so I'm just going to clean this off and we're going to get this up on some dimensionals. I'm going to grab some other dimensionals so I don't have to tear those out. So I'm just going to stamp this up on, set these up on dimensionals. And we'll decide if we want to do both up on dimensionals or just one. So I'm just going to get this one up here first. I'm just going to center it because that's how I liked it. Alright, and I'm going to set this up here. So it's just a matter if we want it flat or if we want it with some height. I'm going with height. I'm in a height mode today. Let's give it some height. And that's what we're going to do. Alright. Now you're going to see here to the right. There is an adventure with you. And it is. Every day's even adventure with you out there on Facebook. Right? We're all saying hello to each other. Alright, so Zoe last night, you know, it's up all night. We're approaching midnight. And we really are going to go to bed. And we really are going to sleep. So Zoe, wanted me, Zoe took some scraps and she came up with making a bow. And this does make a pretty bow. It's just a matter of where to put the bow. So, I also have some additional things that we had added. One was a leaf that we'll put up here. Sort of attached to me, it feels like. And you can go either way with these. Alright, and then she, she also had the flower she wanted in here. Okay, so the question is, where do we want to put the bow? Where do we want to put the bow? And I'm fine with the bow. I'm just not sure where I would put the bow because I actually got some nice gold bling here that I can put with the gold. So, anybody, I should get Zoe up here. Zoe, where are you? You should come up here and decide where this bow is going to go because I have some beautiful gold bling to put in the center of that bow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want to do that. Just need a little bit, right? Just need a little bit. All right, so, all right, you need to take a look at that bow, and where are we going to put that bow? Because I've got some beautiful gold bling. You guys can't see her yawning. That's the 12-year-old working toward teenager yawn there. So where do you want it? Where are, you, where are we going to do that bow at? You know, we could even do it to the side if you wanted to. I know, I like your bow idea. We just need to decide where we're going to put it. Because I've got this beautiful gold that help inspire you. I this beautiful gold bling. I tried the bumblebee like you wanted to do, but the bumblebee didn't show up. It blended in too much with the paper. So she had me make, this is most probably a quarter of an inch of paper. She had me just loop it, make it look like a bow, right? And so it sort of got flat a little bit, and we'll put something in the middle. So we could either put a bumblebee. The bumblebee just blended too much. Bumblebee blended too much. So where do you think? Where's that bow gonna go? You and your bow. You and your bow. You put your bow down here. To the side, maybe. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Well, you could do that. If you did that, you wouldn't be able to see. You just want it right dead in the center? I don't know. What do you think, Jennifer? You're out there. What do you think? 
Thank you, Lourdes. What do you think of the bow? Zoe wants the bow right in the center of our compass. You like that idea? All right, Zoe. Since I asked for your input, you gave it. I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. How about that? Yeah, I hadn't heard from Lourdes or anybody else say anything about it, but that's what you want. So we're just going to go with it, all right? Today is a day where I'm creating. Yep. Yep, I got my peep there. Got my peep there, making noise in the background. <laughs> but you briefly saw her, maybe, in action, don't know. That's where she wants it. So there you go. Very interesting. I personally would not have done that. But anyway, that's what she would like. So we'll leave it there for the moment. Until we come up beside something else. So there is our second one right there with her bow in the middle that she would like. All right, let's move on to the third and last card. Here's an example of one I did in a different color. And we're doing this one today similar, but a little bit different because I used scraps again. It was one of those things that I sat there and cut out some stuff, trying some different colors and so forth and so on. So in this particular case, uh, I was trying this die cutting out on different papers. And this was a circle you saw a while ago that I tried to see it. I was trying to do something else with circles, but I changed my mind. So this is the one that's actually, so we're stepping it up because number one, we have embossed, right? And we're going to put this down. Now this wasn't scraps, but some of this other was. This was just left over. I had, to, uh, I just wanted to do something with it. All right, so this was just a cut piece that I had. I was working with some things, and I thought, you know what, let me just, actually this was really basically a, I wanna say it was like a three and a quarter by three and a quarter. I don't have my measuring thing right here to tell you. And I just, I just sat there and put one tip on the cutting edge, and I put the other one at the one inch and I, that's how I sit there and did my diagonal. Because uh, it, you know, it was just a piece I had and I sat there and I was going to use it. Alright, so I have this also and this one's just a little bit this here. I could have, that one over there I had tucked it under, but this one I'm not tucking down this thing. But I'm going to do it just like I did a while ago because I really like the fact of having it loose. And if it, I've got some there, if it doesn't cover it up, I do have a tool that will get it picked up. All right, I'm just going to put this right here. Now, Zoe and I differed last night on how to do this circle. I wanted to stamp, I wanted to, so, I wanted to use the same stamp I did a while ago, but she didn't want this in the middle, she wanted this in the middle. All right, so we have taken, this is a post-it note that I cut out the circle size, and we're going to see if we can stamp over this. And if not, then we'll go to a different game plan. All right? Thank you, Lourdes. <laughs> Lourdes likes your centered. All right, so we'll see how this is going to work. I've never done this before, but Zoe, this is what Zoe wanted. So Zoe really should be the one up here doing it. And let's see what it's going to look like when I take this off. Ooh, Zoe, Zoe, you're going to like this. All right, so there we go. That's what Zoe wanted. You like that? All right. So <laughs> I would not have done that, but that's what Zoe wanted. And it was like, well, okay, we're going to try it. So we're just going to put this down again with some dimensionals. I just covered my dimensionals up. Yep. So, uh, that's what I love. I mean, if you guys have something you'd like to see me do, I'll try it. I'll at least try it once, right? And if I just don't like it, can't get there, I'll just pass the next time. So, we're just going to put this here. <laughs> and that's what you get when you do up all night with any of us in this household. Our creating area starts off nice and neat. And the next thing you know, it looks like a storm went through. All right, so I'm just going to take this there. I'm going to put some dimensionals on this here. And that it came out really cool. Uh, it's not every day I go and cut a circle die out of 
post-it notes just so I could get the circle there. <laughs> uh, I'll get this off, huh? Broke most of my fingernails. Alright, so we're just gonna start put this on the center. And then we're just gonna put this this right here in the center. This isn't gonna be up on dimensionals. Oh, I just tore it, Zoe. Uh, nope, nope. All right, all right. We'll just put it on there. Let's see. You won't know the difference by the time I get it down. All right. It's just I did not. That was pretty fragile. Okay, there we go. I had glue on. All right. Oh. Okay. So, Zoe. So that that so as a result of putting that on there, I'm not going to get use this. Originally, I was going to use this. So that's sort of out the window. And then down here, we just need to stick the gold up here. I'm trying to think, Zoe, where did you have this gold? Do you remember? We have this gold. Did you have the gold just down there? Is that where we had it, or did you have it up top? We were busy creating last night. Okay, so what am I going to put down at the bottom then? Anything? Nothing? Nothing, nothing, nothing? No? Okay, I guess nothing. All right. A bumblebee. <laughs> you know, we can put some gold bling. Let's put some gold bling. The bumblebees are hard to see. How about we do the gold bling right there? Ah, you don't like that? No, you don't like that? Bumblebees. Well, bumblebees are nice, but they're just not very shiny. Yeah, with all this other stuff. Got a lot of shiny stuff going on here. Beautiful gold. This is that. This is that. Um, let me get off here. This is that distress gold. Yeah. Yep. 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 All right. She's into the bumblebees. All right. Let's see what I can do here. It does seem like we did the gold appear last night. All right. The bumblebees. Let's see. I had to just do something down here. Okay. Are you sure we don't want anything else besides the bumblebees? Alright, I might position them just a little differently. Okay. Yeah, I love it. That's what grandkids are for, right? We'll spread them out just a little differently, though. Okay. So we stepped this one up uh, by uh, adding some embossed paper here that we did. And we just did a little different. We also used some masking there for the center of this here so we get some the words as though we wanted without. This. So you can see that we sit there and stamp this too. So this is just masking the technique that we used to get what we wanted. And we just left it right there. So there you go. We have our three cards. And like I said, we just leave leftover stuff. You know, if I'm going to cut out something gold, like we distress gold, like I did on this card here, I put everything that I can on my magnetic die cutting plate and cut. So yeah, I have leftover stuff, but you know, when I come right now and go to my leftover stuff pile and go to my scrap pile, these are easy to cut out of scraps as well too. And then here's our very our simple one that we started off with, that was our 3x3. Three three. So yes, we did get our bumblebees in today. So there you go. Starting simple, we just added paper here to step this up with the stuff scraps we already had. And here we just added some embossed paper that we did for the background. There. So, with that, let's see here if we can get back on track. I hope you enjoy that. It's the uh, main thing here is we did, we did do some stamping. We used, so if you want to know which stamp sets we use, the one that's got the compass look is He's All That. And the one that said thank you was from the Flowing Flowers. We mainly focused on the leftovers that we had from the texture check paper and also from the, the brush gold paper which is very pretty too distress gold so i hope you enjoyed that and so we would hope that you would continue to follow us here 
on Facebook. We're also on YouTube. This the video will be posted on YouTube shortly. And then we will also post pictures on Instagram and Pinterest of the cards that we created. So be blessed. Go out there, create, right? Share and give. We look forward to seeing you next week with Keep It Simple or Step It Up here on Facebook Live. Bye.